Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Still, thank you very much for joining me in this video. Today we're going to be doing the Olsen Grand Club in Car Mechanic Simulator, which is Story Car Number 8, or Story Order Number 8. Now this car is one of those where we're actually starting to dabble in actual bodywork parts. Now as a low level person, when it comes to like the actual mechanic simulator itself, you won't have the option to actually repaint bodywork and so on, so at the moment customers have to just put up with the fact that everything comes in standard black. So we're going to put this onto the lift, which which we have already and then we're going to go through the diagnostics see what's wrong with it and see what we're going to do about it hello i bought a brand new olsen grand club it's a great car in in the ad it said the car is in great and uh, off-road uh, blah, 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 blah. okay so it's an off-road car it's been bashed around a bit and there's not very many parts that have been discovered so we're going to have to do like a full blown into this car and then we've got to repair some of the body afterwards, which is, as I said, it's one of the first cars we're actually going to be doing this in. So, um, yeah, let's get into this, shall we? So, from the last car I did, which was the Royal Crown, which is the video in the top right-hand corner right now, I learnt basically if a car, if taking bits and pieces off of a car says replace it with a 100% part, I'm replacing this with 100% parts. So this guy's build is going to be a little bit more because I'm going to replace everything with brand new. I'm not going to basically try and upgrade it. I'm not going to try fixing it. I'm literally just going to buy brand new parts and sling it onto this car. So I, that's what I highly recommend to anybody playing this. That's what I highly recommend to anybody who's actually doing this as well. And um, yeah, so all this should be fast forwarded and it'll be gone within a blink of an eye to a certain extent. But as you can tell, pretty much the front end of this car needs replacing literally everything i mean even the radiator needs replacing and that's a big thing for a car so uh, yeah this is this car has definitely hit something really hard So because obviously the bottom has the, the crossbone has to be taken off the bottom of the car as well, we're going to have to raise this above and we're going to have to take everything else off the bottom as well. So that's why I'm having to switch sides of the car just to remove all of this section, then we'll do the underneath and then we'll just replace all that as we go through. Okay, so we're going to take the rear end off first before we do everything underneath because there's still bits down here we have to take off on the higher section as well. So we're going to take everything off uh, in stages. Okay, and the last section of the suspension on this level, then we have to raise the car up. I think from now on, I mean, the best thing you can do, if you're going to have to do a full restoration like this on the under part of a car, I think it's best to raise it all the way to the top of the lift first before you take everything off. Then you don't have to do it in stages, you just rip it all apart and then take it all off in section. So, we're going to raise the car up and we're going to finish dismantling the bottom and then we'll uh, replace the whole thing with brand new parts. So to all the people that do watch these videos, like halfway through the video I always flash up like all the parts that need to be removed. I know some people have an issue with some of the bits of the cars that actually do need taken off so it's almost best just to check. I mean I might start leaving timestamps in the actual description to show where the actual list of all the parts needs to be taken off and then from there you guys can work on it yourselves. Leave it down in the comment section below if that's a good idea. Okay, so I think we've done everything off the f off of the base of the car now. Just go through the list, make sure. 
And the reason why I'm doing all the gold stars is because I'm highlighting the parts that I'm going to need for my shopping list and basically where they all are on the car. If you look in the top right section right now, there is a video that will actually explain the reasons why this is actually not a bad thing to do and it speeds up your gameplay a bit as well. Alright, so um, yeah, let's start rebuilding the, uh, the base of the car, then we'll move on to the bodywork. So the bodywork itself, for some reason I can't make an actual shopping list of things I need. So I had to write this down because I keep forgetting and everything. It's always good to have a bit of paper near you to actually go through. Now there are only four bits on this and this is the first car that we're actually replacing bodywork on. But later on you're going to have to keep remembering all these things. So it's best normally to just make a note that you're actually sort of doing it properly. So the last thing you should definitely do after you've put the pan on the bottom of the engine is to make sure you're filling it up with oil. As uh, This is one thing that I actually forgot I was doing, so yep, I've, uh, I've just filled it up with oil. So one thing I would highly recommend doing, which is something I didn't do with this car but I did for later builds, was to basically search for the car itself, then it comes up with the parts that you're actually needing for that car. Um, it gives you a list of everything that you, that ha that comes with that car anyway, but it gives you everything you need, and that's um, sort of where I sort of didn't do it right with this car. I basically replaced everything and went, oh, I've forgotten this, oh, I've forgotten that. So yeah, make sure you're searching for the car you're actually building, because it saves so much time in uh, actually searching for the right part. Okay, so this car is pretty much finished. So thank you very much for joining me in this video. This has been Hybrid Steel. And until my next video, live stream, or whatever else I do on this channel, peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. And I'll see you all in another video. Bye-bye.